Oh, hey, little buddies. River rats, I got a few baits, but I feel like they're a little lonely. Six does not make a bait party. We need like 20, so let's go catch some. First things first, you gotta find a deeper spot in the creek. And it could be where culvert runs under the road, it could be just a sharp turn in the creek. But somewhere deeper, I mean, it's there's still fish. It's fishing, you find deep water holes, there's gonna be something living in there. And on these little dinky creeks like this, usually that's where the creek chubs are at. And if we're lucky, some suckers. But I'm gonna start out chucking a worm and a bobber for some creek chubs. And I don't catch very many suckers doing that, but uh, I'm gonna throw the net and see what happens. Now things to keep in mind for creek chub fishing, you don't want a nice fishing rod. I feel like it deters them. But all I do is I got a 16th ounce jig, so a little bit of mono don't hurt anything. They are kind of line shy at times. And then just a little bobber. Or you just use mono mainline. I can see them swimming down there. I don't see any big ones, but smaller ones, they'll just become cut bait. It'll be fun. Pinch you off a little chunk of crawler, or you can use them red worms. And toss her out there, see what happens. Well, he hit my bobber. Oh, there we go. You will work very nicely, sir. Almost like live bait size. Mm, another one? There's literally bajillions of them swimming around down there. One perk of polarized shades. There we go. Oh, lost him. You'll do, friend. Quit it. Hmm. Really are right at my feet. Get it. Dog. There we go. You'll work. Oh, he jacked me. That dog. Not a fan of handing out free meals. Definitely going to have to do something about that. Uh, genuinely, though, I have noticed if you thread the crawler onto the jig head, they don't steal it near as often. Now, saying that, this next one's going to steal it. Nope. Oh, he wasn't bad, but he did get away. Ran right at me. Alright, a few more of these guys, and we're good on that front. Alright, time for the fun stuff. Looking for a big bait. By big bait, I mean like, it would take eight of them. Eight big ones would be sweet. There's a lot of different ways to catch suckers, depending on time of year. But this time of year, I have a hard time catching them on rod and reel. And uh, for me, time and efficiency is key. Never tried here, so we're going to see what happens. But I got a cast net. I ain't just any cast net. Every state's got different rigs. This is a five-footer. This is the absolute biggest we can have, which is why I have it. If we could have an eight, I'd have an eight. But uh, the thing about this, it's got big old mesh. It's got the biggest mesh we can have. And uh, then it's really heavy. It's got like a pound and a quarter of weight per foot. So it's a pretty heavy net. And let's see if I can throw a donut on top of a bunch of big suckers. But the thicker mesh makes it sink faster. Which, with these guys, are really fast, and that's kind of important. What do we have? Nothing. One nice thing about the bigger mesh is those little guys zip out of there. Don't have to mess with them as much. Don't have my throws down quite yet. Me sucker. Or not. Whatevs, I guess. Alright, no suckers. I'm going to keep trying to make this video, don't you worry. But I'm going to go catch some sunfish and bullheads. And I'm going to go try and catch a big ugly flathead. Still trucking on. There ain't nothing easy about kayak fishing, at least the way I do it. Hold that a ways. 
I had this feeling of grandeur, grandeur, words are hard, but uh, I had this feeling that I was going to get down here early, catch a channel cat, and fry him up, and then catch a big, 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 big ugly. Unfortunately, catching bait was not easy. I still don't have enough bait. I got some crawlers. I'm going to try and catch more bait, and I might catch a channel cat while I'm at it and might fry him up, but regardless. The whole point right now is just to try to catch something big. Real story, when I was about a hundred yards from here, I had a black cat run out in front of me, and I'm not overly superstitious, but hopefully I've had enough bad luck with the bait catching where uh, I'll have some good luck this evening. Only takes one, right? I've had a lot of people ask me if I use baby channel cats for bait, and I don't for a variety of reasons, but uh, I suppose if I can't catch anything else, that might be a possibility today. I suppose we'll try here for a little bit. A lot more interested in catching bait than I am food. That's pretty standard for myself. If I land this, you're going to laugh. Get in here. Flathead fishing. <laughs> little known fact, flatheads love night crawlers. By little known, I mean a ton of people know it, but uh, that's pretty sweet, really. Look at that guy. He's quite adorable. Hopefully that means good things. Hopefully that means they're biting. But seriously, that's sweet. Might be the smallest one I've ever caught on rod and reel. He's not. He's right up there. All right. Later. I'm not going to use you for bait. That is a boundary I do not cross. I should do more night crawler fishing just to see what you catch. I was going to say I think we have the rest of our dinner, but I don't feel like eating him. That's good. Do I dare use you as bait? You're like three pounds. Hmm. Hmm. That's what I'm looking for. Just a little big. It's the old buffalo. Yeah, can't. He's just a little big. Like, I like big baits, but he's just a smidge big. So he gets to walk. Well, second flathead of the trip. Come here, bud. Going the right direction in size, still no more bait, but I came here to catch flatheads. I came, caught flatheads, conquered. Here we are. Alrighty, Let's see you, bud. Cool. Should probably quit messing around. I got what I got and I'm gonna use it and maybe I should just throw worms out and catch flatheads. Prefer they're a little bigger than that though. Before I forget, one thing I'll make note is it's the new moon. Tonight is the new moon. And a lot of people say moon phases don't matter. And I'll say I disagree. I think they do matter. Ultimately you fish when you can fish, but there's nights that I make sure I can fish night. I like the new moon for fishing at night. Full moon, different story. Although, some big ones that come out on the full moon. So moral of the story is I just fish as much as I possibly can, but there's some nights I get a little more excited than others. Not gonna lie, there's something super nice and peaceful and enjoyable about uh, kicking back, listening to the Cubs play. They're actually winning right now. Need baits. Would really like a sucker. Probably asking for too much though. What I can do definitely is get my fishing poles rigged up though. I'm so cheap. Found these on Facebook Marketplace from a dude who I actually know. And when he posted them up, I was all kinds of giggity because. Something about an all-black reel. 
I mean, I guess you look at my logo, it's black and white. I'm pretty black and white, not a lot of gray. So I guess that kind of makes sense in some sort of way, maybe, kind of, I guess. Oh, we have live action. Oh, I missed him. That was my sucker. I got something. Ooh. He might be bait. Mm. Tad big. Sure would love you if you're about half that big, though. Probably 18 inches, 3 pounds, 2 to 3 pounds. Definitely usable for bait size, but they're such a pain to manage on the end of a hook. It's not that I'm scared to put a bait out there like that. It's just I get tired of hearing zip, 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 zip all the time. And yeah. Alright. Okay, bye. Send me your little brother. I don't say that very often when it comes to fish, but I would like a smaller one. Well, I'm going to put this one in front of cover, walk down a little ways and bomb it and see what happens. And nothing like a little sneeb action. I guess that would require action, though. Put him down in the deep stiff. I hope to hear this clicker rolling. I'll take any clicker rolling. I don't know why I'm excited about this one, but I kind of am. That's what I'm listening for. Oh. Well, I got whatever it is. Ooh, it feels like the right kind. That was quick. Oh, is he running at me or did he come? No, he ran at me. Don't scare me like that, fish. He's a long ways down there. I walked him away. Wonder if they're just starting to come out of that brush pile. Hopefully, coming up to uh, where I'm getting ready to set the other lines up. Sweet. It's not monstrous, but it ain't light. Oh yeah. That was quick. I like that a lot. Come here. Easy. Quick fish. Technically, third fly head of the night. <laughs> well, I like it when you get them quick. I mean, leaves a lot of time to do some more damage, and there's lots of times where you don't get to do any more damage, but the funny thing is it happens on nights when you're not sure if you're going to have enough bait. <laughs> Whatever. I'm excited. I just got a fish. All right, friend. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Sign of a good, healthy release, I guess. And I have a spider crawling in me, huh? Get off. There's not too many creatures that freak me out real bad, but I'm not a fan of spiders. Not gonna really freak out, but I ain't gonna pet them. I have no idea what that was, but it was fast. Oh! It's not tiny. I can't get over how fast it was. It took off like crazy. Now it kind of halfway feels snagged up. <laughs> Holy bugs. On cut bait. This is a channel cat. This channel, it's a huge channel cat. I don't think it's a channel cat. Holy yeah. This is a giant. Ooh. Yeah, this is a big fish.
I was all joking around, now I'm serious. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Big, big, big fish. Just gonna take my time with him. Big boy. It's all wrapped up in it. Come on. Let's come back to the shore. Yep. Okay, that's fine. I touched him, I guess, so that's cool. This is a giant. Absolute giant. I usually uh, put the boots to him, but uh, I'm going to take my time with him. Yeah, I, I'm impressed at how usually they hit it low and slow, and he hit it 800 mile an hour. And as soon as I came tight on him, I'm like, this ain't one to joke around with. Okay, um, can I guide him to the bank? It's impressively deep, right, off of uh, the sandbar, so walking out to grab him isn't really practical. And he's just tuned up enough where it's going to be tough to land him. Come here. Holy shnikes, that's a real one. So we got in the double hook rig. I should add my tape measure a little. He might. Oh, my biggest of the year, probably. Oh, he's all nicked up on the side. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yes! Oh, look at that giant! Come here. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's something about a new moon. Holy crap, look at that thing. That is a giant. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely giggy right now, like, and to catch him on a chunk of cut bait. Oh, <laughs> oh man, he's a slob, absolute slob. I can't think of any other dumb things to say, so get one last nice look, and I'm going to let him go. I don't know. All I know is he's a monstrous fish. Dinosaur. Real. It's crazy to think that those little ones that I caught earlier are uh, grow up to be that guy, and he's gonna get a chance to get even bigger, which is kind of scary to think about. It's kind of well, I mean, if you're if you're a small animal, it'd be scary to think about, but uh, for me, it's kind of exciting. Well, I can see my bobber down there. This is what I woke up to right here. Wonder how long he was running. This just kind of became a reoccurring theme as of late. So what happened was my big old bullhead, who was on this bobber, who was sitting right there, got slurped up by something pretty substantial, definitely a flathead, because there ain't no other fish in the river that's going to hold it that long. And he took it from here all the way down to there, and... Must have ran into something and dropped it. Oh well, you gotta sleep sometime if you do this very much. Try to just try not to sleep through the the bites, but it happens. Pretty darn cold out. Maybe I'm just a weenie. All right, I'm gonna go back to sleep for a little bit. Mm. Second good morning. It's very moist this morning. It's 
suppose I can get some stuff picked up. It was uh, not exactly balmy trying to sleep. I really, I really wish I would have brought my nasal allergy spray stuff because of my sensitivities. Well, I need to get rolling. Hope you enjoyed the video, really do, and I hope you, if you did, if you did, I hope you hit the like button, and if you would like to see more videos such as this, please hit the subscribe button. Fun things are coming up, flathead fishing is going to start waning a little um, because of time, and walleyes and hybrids, there will be more of that stuff, so... I'm going to do my best to make the sucker catching video. They're not making it easy on me. But I'm working at it, don't worry. And uh, all that aside, I really appreciate you watching. For real. Thanks. Hope to catch you giant.